Hello, Mr. Nigren here. Welcome to Feren or Forgotten Realms Total War. So we are trying out some new factions. We are trying out the Elves of Cormander and Aglarond. We will fight each other. We are AI controlled. I am only controlling one unit. We will retreat with the unit. It's the Moon Cavalry of the Elves of, of Cormander. So they still have the Vanilla general here. I believe I have replaced this general on the other computer. On my best computer, I have a slightly outdated version. Here I haven't replaced the general. On the other computer with the weaker graphics card, <coughs> I have done some more uh, modding to this version of Faerun. I have replaced the generic general of this faction for sure. But yeah, I, I didn't want to do a video. Um, on uh, the other computer because it has worse graphics and would probably lag yeah. um, but I forgot that I didn't replace this general so I uh, saw that uh, <coughs> the Wizard of Turnish or Vlad Vladivid, the, the original creator of Fair and War <coughs> and one of the modders of the, that worked on it together with uh, Sir Banipal, the, the guy who is making a lot of the models. Um, I saw that he commented my first video <coughs> like four weeks ago. I believe I answered that comment 12 days later because I didn't know he had commented. But Sir Banable told me that he had commented on the video. And so so Sir Banable has tried to reach uh, Vladivid or Wizard of Turnish for some time. But uh, it's difficult and <coughs> I uh, answered him under the comment of the old video and I believe I sent some messages to private messages on Mod B and on Total War Center. But the thing is that <coughs> Wizard of Turnish or Vladivid he has a later version of the mod uh, that has like all the unit uh, cards or portraits for the units of Aglaron, the Elves of Commander and of the Mara and we lack that version so we do not have the cards so uh, <coughs> of course uh, um, Astro Banapal would like that version so that uh, he has the latest version he has made 10 new rosters or fac factions he has made uh, models for 10 additional factions and uh, of course we can add them to this version of but it would be better to use the version that Vladivid has or Wizard of Turnish um, because it's later, it's more developed. He has the cards finished, both the unit info cards and the unit cards for three factions and five new factions that are inside of the game. So we have the five factions inside this version too, but we do not have the cards. And um, yeah, it's unnecessary, I think, to remake cards if they already exist and also <coughs> Wizard of Turnish or Vladivid had made some new models too for, for the factions that he made he made the majority of he made probably all the factions that are in the 0.2 release of Faerun or Forgotten Realms to the war he made the models for that version and for all the factions there and he has made uh, additional models for some factions, I believe Tater, for example, had new models, uh, some new knights, and then he had previewed, I believe, hobgoblins too, that were new for uh, for his version, and no one else has uh, access to his version, so that's why we do not have the cards for three factions, and we do not have the hobgoblins or any new knights for Tater uh, or anyone else that he might have made. Okay, and uh, also he had done some changes to the costs of units in the game and balance and such. And added, I believe, uh, banners for <coughs> the Mara and the Elves of Commander. And added the Elves to the campaign. I believe I have also added the Elves to the, to the campaign in this version. But <coughs> his version is more developed, so it would be better to use his version if continuing the mod, I mean if, if you're gonna continue development of the mod 
it's better to use the latest version and he's the only one having that version so so uh, I'm just speaking here because if, if he watches the, the video it would be great if he would uh, at least uh, log in to the war center and uh, come back to the developers uh, group for Faerun or Forgotten Realms to lore and speak with uh, Azurbanipal there because Azurbanipal has been active ever since 2020 and actually he started work in 2015 I've seen but I believe the mod is from 2011 so Vlad worked on the mod since 2011 but um, Azurbanipal joined in 2015 or 2014 and uh, <coughs> some of the factions that aren't in the game have been available since 2017 at least like the dwarves of Delzone for example had their roster finished already in 2017 but they are not in the game because they needed uh, custom animations for the dwarves that still uh, hadn't been implemented when version 0.2 released in October 2020 I believe <coughs> we were about to release version 0.3 in 2021 which would have included three more factions but uh, <coughs> now now the the version we have now has five new factions the Elves of Commander and uh, Aglarond, the Mara, the Rashman and the Taian Nation but the Taian Nation only has half the roster in the game the human half plus the goblins Okay, then there are <coughs> since then an additional five factions finished by Azerbanipal between late 2020 and uh, <coughs> now. They finished Shondat, I believe, in late 2020, early 2021, and then he has finished Milhorand, Zembia, <coughs> the dwarves of Delson, they are already finished. I believe he improved the models later, so they were finished in 2017, but he improved the models, I think, uh, in 2021 or 2022. Okay, and then, <coughs> then there might have been someone else, too. Okay, so, and there are additional units for the Empire of Kalimshan <coughs> and for Unter. Those factions are also made by as a <coughs> and the rest of the factions were made by Vlad. So, uh, as a has uh, asked me to, to try and contact uh, Vlad or Wizard of Turnish because <coughs> he has the, 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 the version that has the cards and, and the some additional models and balance and cost changes. So, it would be better to have that version if we're gonna add Azerbanipal's factions to, to, to the mod instead of adding them to an updated version so uh, <coughs> this version is still more recent than the release of course it still has five new factions but it, it lacks uh, all the cards for three factions which is annoying to it's annoying to make new cards if they already exist and uh, also the, the models and the balance and cost changes would be great to have already in the game <coughs> so yeah uh, hopefully if Vlad uh, <coughs> or Wizard of Turner still has that version he could uh, contact Azurbanipal and send the version to him because he has been active since 2020 and <coughs> I was gonna he uh, help him or aid him with um, implementing the, his new factional rosters to the game, to the mod. <coughs> so, five new factions in the game and five new factions outside of the game. So, <coughs> and yeah, but we lack the latest version of the mod, so that's why it would be great if uh, we could get that version. But anyway, let's fight this battle. <coughs> Elves of Chromatir and Aglarond. So we check the units. So here we have the Aquilarn mounted archers. Oh, if uh, this version is outdated, I had replaced these unicorns with with uh, 
uh, the normal horse. So they're not supposed to have unicorns this unit. But I believe in 2020 when I got the roster and added them, they had the unic they had a vanilla horse and I replaced it with the unicorns because they were cool. But uh, later I saw that uh, they were uh, I believe Aglarond or someone had a more suitable brown horse that still were custom but uh, more suited for a medium unit so I replaced it with that horse but uh, because this is the outdated version I have a more recent version on my other computer I have still not replaced the unicorns here so yeah this is a slightly outdated version this unit is supposed to have a normal horse but they have unicorns here because because I haven't changed them in this version. Then we have the unicorn riders. They are intended to have the unicorns. The only unit that will have the unicorns. In any release. They have both male, uh, males and females. Or they are just females. I'm not sure. I think this unit is just female. Looks like it. Eleven females. Riding unicorns. They are an elite horse of your unit and the other unit of um, Akivalan mounted archers are their normal horse of your unit so they will have a normal brown medium horse they won't have the unicorns um, and uh, they have both men and women both female and male elves <coughs> so they look like uh, wood elves the Elves of Command here. So yeah, they have the wrong horse. <coughs> this was a VIP of work in progress anyway. I just added that because it looked cool. I prefer the unicorns over the vanilla horse, but now there is a better one. Suited for a medium unit. Then they have the Moon Cavalry with a really cool, unique custom horse here. Custom armor. They have uh, some females riding, I believe. Maybe even some men. They are more heavily armored than the others. Unique looking gear and armor. Helmet. Then uh, these guys again. There are two of these. They are not supposed to have the unicorns. <laughs> okay, and then we check the other units. They have the Aquilan protectors, heavy archers, a unique dismounted archer unit, an elite unit. Heavy armored archers, <coughs> the elves, really cool unit. Two armor variations. I believe these are men and these are females. And they have some mages. They have the <coughs> Ak Fair, lesser mages. Some different models. So they are reversed mages in the army. All the mages have the same projectile, I believe. <coughs> so only one mage projectile had been implemented into the mod. It's pretty unique. And then they have the uh, fair high mages, the best ones. They have different robes. No, they might not be the best ones. They are the sec they, they are the middle ones, I believe. So females too. So these are the middle mages and uh, the medium ones and these are the basic ones. There's some men and some women there too. I have another unit of Aquilan protectors. They have the archers. The elves for commander. And they have the Aquilan archers, the normal archers. It, uh, you can see they have the men are blondes. I think these guys are men too. This unit might be made up entirely of men, unless this is a female, I don't think so. Could be wrong. Uh, then we have the Veilguard, another heavy archer unit. 
It's really cool. Some variations. And behind them, have another unit of Veil Guards. And we have another unit of Aquilan Archers. But I suspect they are all men. This one might be female, I could be wrong. Okay, and then we have the infantry. We have the Aquilan Swords. <coughs> the green ones are men. Blonde hair and the ones with black hair are females. See the boobs and such. The females have black hair and the men have blonde hair. Okay, <coughs> uh, so the females look a bit like the dark elves from Warhammer. Okay, <coughs> and the men look like high elves. <coughs> okay, this is a different universe, so I don't know anything about. Elves, they are high elves, dark elves, or so. I think they are wood elves. Would make sense. We have spearmen too. They also have uh, both men and women with the same difference. Then we have a heavy swordsman unit. They have 200 swords. Swords of Evreska. <coughs> the blue ones look a bit like the, the elves from Warhammer, but the other ones look completely unique. The blue ones are females, and the green ones are males, I believe. Should have at least two units of those two. Another swordsman unit behind. We do not have any siege in this mod currently, and we haven't replaced the general yet. They do have coronal guards, the bodyguard. Elite mage unit. The, the elf's commander has a mage bodyguard. Okay. <coughs> and uh, yeah, they have two variations too one male variation and one female. <coughs> they have both the staff and some kind of saber. Okay, so that's the Elves of Command here. Start the battle. Pause the game. Check Aglerond. Okay. Ah, they started all over here. Cavalry first. So here we have, I believe they are medium archers. This is the horse I gave to the medium archers of the Elves of Commander 2. So in the other version I have on, on the other computer, they have this horse. <coughs> Brown and black horses, unique custom horses for this mod by Sir Banipo. So I thought these horses fit the medium units of the Elves too. Instead of using a vanilla horse, and instead of using the unicorns, as they are supposed to be unique to one unit. So these are the common mounts for the elves too. You can see here that this unit is a medium <coughs> horse archer unit. And these are men. Might be females too. Not sure. I think these are only men these guys. It's a whole sort of unit and I think they are elves. Could be wrong. I don't know anything about Aglarond. But I think they are elves and humans combined in one faction. Okay, here we have some archers. They are clearly human. <coughs> we have two units of those. And then they have some Eurwood archers. They look like elves, so this faction is a mix between elves and humans. You can see that they have uh, two variations. Both look like men. I think they are better than the normal archers. And then we have the Eurwood Rangers, another unit of elves. 
they look even better they're probably elite but unlike the elves of commander they have no heavy armor so they are more like a ranger unit type ranger unit okay and then we have the watchful guard they are archers too with heavy armor they look like humans they have shields on their back too and then we have a mage unit the euro druids they are men don't know about this unit it might be female it's hard to see to be honest or it's a ma male unit too Okay, but that's their mage. And then they have a pikeman unit. They are humans. Two units of them. And then they have an elite dismounted griffin riders unit. Elite infantry unit. Heavy armor. Really unique looking unit. Good looking golden unit there. Fewer numbers, elite infantry, drill and sword. They have another elite unit, the Simbus Guard. Heavy armored humans, I believe. Real cool unit. And they have a unit of swordsmen. Drills and sword, really cool unit. Even though it's probably a basic swordsman unit. Looked cool unique behind them we have the spearmen sit guard they also look very unique they are humans so the stats and costs are not final we have a unique cavalry unit here a unique heavy horse cataphract horse custom one they are named the Knights. They are the Knights of Aglarond. Really cool unit. Have 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 armor. Cool custom cavalry unit. Of Aglarond. Then they have the Watchful Patrol. Two of these units. They are also humans. And they do not have any armor. And they have the normal horse. They have white horses and brown horses, and they are not. They are cu custom, but they are not the same as the, the ones of the elves. I believe the horse archers were elves. These are different. And behind them, they have a griffin unit. They can't fly, but they are heavily armored griffins. And they have this bodyguard. So they are like. <coughs> the mounted griffin knights and uh, yeah very cool mount the unit might get new animations where that will make them fly and such depending on if uh, that's done or not by s uh, someone but anyway they also have the vanilla general here I believe I replaced the general for at least a few of the new factions I don't know if I replaced the general for this faction I think I did be wrong but um, yeah they have vanilla generals here and uh, so it's a slightly bit a bit more updated okay let's start the battle balance of power so the green uh, meter is clearly superior you can see that the uh, Aglaron faction or uh, I believe uh, where they I don't remember but might be the kingdom of Aglarond or just Aglarond but anyway they uh, leading the balance meter the balance of power meter uh, but the balance force is still evenly matched to Aglarond's uh, advantage Aglarond has more long range troops fewer infantry troops but they do also probably have a verse morale and such. Tried some battles previously and uh, I believe that their troops fled very fast, so might be that might be why they are <laughs> C 
seen as weaker. Sucks that these horses have the wrong amount in use here. I was gonna replace this version with an with, um, updated version, but I forgot to do it. So yeah, I, I just decided to review two finished factions, but forgot that I had not fixed the generals and the horses here. But otherwise they are finished. So the only difference will be that the generals will be custom and we will see custom horses instead of vanilla horses and we won't have um, unicorns for more than one of the units. Otherwise they are finished. Aglaron is pretty much finished, they just need the custom general. Versus cavalry, the Moon Knights versus the Watchwall Patrol. So they count as heavy cavalry, the Watchwall Patrol. Even though I thought they were light cavalry, maybe it's a mistake or something. Okay. Yeah, these uh, Elves of Command had really cool horses. Yeah, their infantry suck, they, they break too easily. So the, the new stats, the balance stats and the new costs are probably very important for the mod. These are the Aquilan protectors. So it's a spear unit. A phalanx unit. Didn't realize. They're really cool too. Maybe they can switch between bows and phalanxes. So these two rosters were made by Azur Banipal. And both were ready in 2020. <coughs> Shortly after the release. Could have been in a release in 2021 for sure. The cards for both factions are finished, at least in uh, Vladivir's uh, version. Here they are not finished, we will need to recreate the unit cards um, if he doesn't send his VIP or work in progress version. Yeah. So this battle is just done because I wanted to speak about the mod in the hopes that Vlad maybe will watch it or something uh, so that he can contact Azurbanipal because it's important for Azurbanipal to have the latest version and also we, we don't want uh, the stuff that uh, Vlad did to be wasted I mean it would be a waste to, to use an old outdated version instead and all his cards and, and models would not be included, the ones that he made after the release in 2020. Here are the Griffin Knights, the Griffin Riders. Yeah, Bantu or Tartar, he um, was the main modeler of War or he might replace this animation with an actual Griffin animation used by the Warhammer, begin to end times mode and walk to the war. Then they would actually fly and such. But uh, it's up to him if he wants to, to add the animations. He said he would do it previously, but I don't know. He might change his mind. Okay, balance of power. We killed 55% of Aglaron's army and lost 81% of Commander's army. So commander is clearly at a disadvantage. The troops are not that good. I believe the range units are really good at killing. They, uh, when I played the previous battle, 
that faction against Aglarond, I believe that they killed a lot of the enemy troops. Or it was the Mara that they fought. But anyway, they killed a lot of the troops. Over 2000. They are deadly. But they still lost the battle. They, they killed more than their enemy. But they lost the battle because their infantry had poor morale. And would flee very fast. And then the cavalry of the enemy would ride down their ranged troops. Their mages and their archers. And their own cavalry weren't good in melee. So they would lose against the enemy melee cavalry. Okay, but yeah, the, the stats are not final. That can explain why Commander is so weak. I tried also playing Commander in the campaign, I added it to the campaign in 2020. I didn't enjoy it because uh, their army was so bad. I mean, they looked cool, but they always lost almost every battle, so they are too weak. They need uh, a boost in their stats. Especially their infantry. Probably they need more morale so that they don't uh, run away in every battle. At least not uh, too soon. They need to be more tough. The infantry, especially. Yeah, these are the units of Commander and the Elves. Uh, the Elves of Commander and Elderond. And I wanted to use the Kamek mod, but. For some reason I didn't get the option to click on the advisor. Without that option it won't start. Oh fuck, it worked! Didn't know. It, uh, fuck. Then I did a mistake. Then we can check them up close. Clicked on backspace and for some reason it worked. And we have fucked up. Could have had done the entire battle see the units up close. The swordsman. They look cool. Might do another battle with the Kamek mod on from the start. It doesn't always work for some reason. Now it worked. Unfortunately, we can only see the Aglaron troops now, almost. Because uh, the Elves of Commander are retreating. They look cool. I didn't believe that it was working, this battle. The advice didn't throw up, then it usually won't work. Yeah, the, the mages, the normal cavalry of Aglaron, even Nila Medieval 2 music, uh, the general of Aglaron, Nila General with the Griffin Riders bodyguard. I'm not sure that's the intended bodyguard, but I put the unit as the bodyguard this battle as it was the most powerful looking and unique like elite unit okay here we have another cavalry unit we've seen them already disappointed that I didn't find out about the Kamek mod Working in the battle earlier. Ah, we have our bodyguard here, the Moon Riders. That sucked. Should have found out earlier. Those guys. It's 
cream we had a uh, rolling horse and that we had uh, vanilla general I forgot that I had an updated version on this computer and that I didn't move over the other one prior to the video the other one also has 8 new units for Kalimshan added including 4 new mounts not all of Kalimshan's new units are added. I'm in the middle of adding the, the new units of Kalimshan. I added those units in late October, I believe. This year. Elves have fled. The unit of Aquilan swords. Swordsman. They had another unit somewhere. Or to see in the forest. It's a spearman unit. Only males still alive. Would have been better if the men had uh, black hair and the females had blonde hair, but that's just my opinion. But I like blondes, <laughs> that's why. Uh, anyway, but I still like uh, the models. Anyway, okay, so the Marathon they killed 57% of their enemy and uh, lost 95% of their troops. At least we got some good shots at the Demara units need to fight this battle again to do the same to the other faction but we won't do that now we will do that when we have the other verse and where they have their both factions have their custom generals and where the horse has been replaced for the, the medium horse archers of commander we won't do a video with the Taya nation as they don't have all their troops in the game they only have the humans and one Goblin unit, I believe. So they are not ready. But we do have the Rashman ready and Tamara. So we might do a bit battle between them too. As they are finished. They too do not have their generals in this version. I might have fixed that in the other version. So we might need to move over the other version so that we do not use the outdated version anymore but even the other version is not really finished you know uh, still have uh, probably not added the custom general to all the factions that are in the game only to some Blue Kalimshan has a custom general for sure and 8 new units and 4 new mounts and the Elves commander has the custom general Eldoran has the custom general the Mara might have it I am not certain the rest still have vanilla generals, I think. And that's in the battles. Of course, all of them have uh, vanilla generals on the campaign map. They haven't touched the campaign, with the exception of adding the elves to the campaign in 2020. Which is already in Lads version 2, and in Asabanapus version as well. So we killed 60% of the enemy, they killed 96% of our troops, so the elves certainly need better stats, especially their infantry, I believe they are the problem, they ran away too early in the battle, have too bad morale, I don't believe it's the stats, it's the morale I believe, they flee too early, and the rest of the troops can't 
handle the enemy melee cavalry and melee infantry alone. Ah, uh, our cavalry is now fighting in melee against, against the dismantled griffin riders. This is one of the coolest units in the mod. Also, mage is in melee too, but that's stupid of the AI to use them like that. Good for us. We will still lose the battle. Even though these guys are their basic sword, but they still look really cool. Different from other mods. I like when units are different. And the mount too. And they are different. This mod really needs siege engines. I don't know why it doesn't have it. If it's because they wanted to add com custom ones, or if it's because they do not have siege in in uh, fair and forgotten realms, I am not certain. But yeah, the siege engines would, of course, be an improvement, I think, unless it's against the lore. I have no idea. We've also added the uh, overlay textures, adding blood to this mod, because there were no. No, I think it had overlay textures. I'm not certain. Or I added it. Okay, clear the feet. The elves lost. He had 1776 men. Plus got help from these 81 horse archers. And they lost 678. Only 98 remaining. They killed 1014. So they still killed 1000, but they did pull the I think, in this battle. Captain Brans Elvir of Aglaron had 833 men, so the numbers were about the same. They lost uh, fewer. <coughs> they lost 1,023 compared to 1,678 for command here. They have 810 remaining. They killed 974. So they killed almost the same. Then uh, Aglaron took uh, 697 prisoners too. And that's because <coughs> when units flee and are killed as they flee, that counts as being taken prisoner. So Aglaron's troops fled too soon and uh, the, the infantry and then they were taken prisoner. Okay, here are the stat sticks. Fought in the woods of um, Semberholm, I think. Semberholm. And uh, yeah, Aglaron won the battle. Thought he would win. Okay, thank you for watching. This was Fair and Forgotten Realms to the War unreleased version and uh, both of these factions are completely new and they are added in I believe October or November 2020 I believe without unit cards I believe the unit cards were made in April 2021 or so in Vlad's version hopefully we'll send it to Azerbaijan or, or we will be forced to remake the cards from scratch. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.